And so these two scientists used the theory of general relativity in order to deduce that the universe was expanding. And sure enough, Hubble's observations in 1929 proved that this theory was confirmed. Oh, how, uh, how did Hubble do that? What, uh, oh. what, what did he do to test this amazing prediction? All right, so what Hubble did was... MIT scientist Dr. Daniel Kabat interviews nine-year-old Saborno Isaac. Dr. Kabat earned his Ph.D. in physics from MIT in 1993. This series of interviews is brought to you by Brilliant.org, and we hope you will enjoy it. My hands may get dirty from this, but there, oh geez, there is something called the Doppler effect. So if a source is moving towards you, then the, the waves it is sending out, well, the wavelength of the stuff that it is sending out, the wavelength of the wave it's sending out, sorry, will, I believe, become shorter. So you have short wavelength. But if they're moving away from you, then the wavelength will become longer. For example, when you're hearing a car passing by, and this is urban Manhattan, so I know that you probably experienced that sound many times. And so the pitch sounds higher when it's approaching you, and then lower as it moves away. And so that is a very great illustration of the Doppler effect. And fun fact, the police actually used it in order to measure speed. And so Edward Hubble in 1929 used this in order to deduce if all things were moving towards us or away from us. If they were moving away from us, the universe must have been expanding. So they, he observed the sources and the waves coming from many distant stars and galaxies. Oh, what, and, what did he find? And sure enough, uh, basically in the electromagnetic spectrum, around 10 to the minus 14 um, meters, I believe, is the wavelength of visible light. And so this is the short wavelength end, and this is the long wavelength end. Uh, so it turns out that blue actually has short wavelengths. I know I'm actually write, uh, writing this uh, bit backwards because I know the gamma rays are at this end. Oh, jeez. All right. Sorry. It keeps falling on me. So red is somewhere near this end, the long wavelength end, and blue is somewhere near the short wavelength end. So blue, it has one of the shorter wavelengths, or red has one of the longer wavelengths. And so Edward Hubble found that the light that most stars were sending us were red shifted, meaning that they were moving away from us. Only mm. a few were blue shifted. So, and so that... So, so that proves that the universe is expanding? Uh, yep. Yeah. And so Einstein actually modified his theory in order to... Uh, accommodate for this because before that he tried to avoid these conclusions and even suggested that in his theory that the universe might be static. Oh. Okay. Happy holidays. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.